Would you happen to know what blood type you are? Uh, B plus. B positive. Yes. It's definitely in you to give, but if you need blood, it has to be the right type. Otherwise, your body will reject it. Do you know what blood type you are? Yeah, O positive. Most people are. O is considered universal blood. It can be given to virtually anyone, so it's often in short supply. But Canadian scientists think they've found a way to efficiently convert other blood types into O. People are surprised because it sounds odd. They think that we're changing the blood type of an individual, which would be a lot more scary. But we're only changing the type of the blood that's been taken from that individual. Different blood types have different sugars stuck to the outside of their cells, except O. So scientists have isolated specialized enzymes found in our gut bacteria and used them to eat the sugars off the surface of non-O blood cells, essentially transforming them into type O. They've tried this before with similar enzymes, but those work too slowly, making the process too expensive. When we did a side-by-side -side test of the uh, already existing best candidate, along with ours, using, uh, using the two of them side-by-side, -side, we found that ours worked 30 times faster. The cells are, are starting to clump on the, on the left-hand side. So that's a blood type A. At Canadian Blood Services, the goal is to save lives. Scientists here are excited at the prospect of having more universal blood. This is where, where modern science is taking us in, in transfusion medicine and blood products, is actually we now understand enough about these cells to be able to, to make the blood product better for patients to get a better transfusion outcome. While it wouldn't eliminate the need for donated blood, doctors and paramedics would no longer need to match donors with patients in emergency situations, which would undoubtedly save lives. But scientists say they're not there yet. I think it's great if it actually comes to fruition, but you know, at this point, I have O negative blood. They call me when they have a shortage. I come. Researchers still need to conduct clinical trials, but say blood conversion could become a reality in as little as five years. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto. Now, we have an update on that recent appeal from Canadian Blood Services. It seems to have been quite successful. The target was 22,000 donations by this Sunday, ahead of the Labor Day weekend. And they say Canadians have generously answered that call, and they're now just 1,500 donors away from reaching the goal.